Inspiration Station, Worship 94.5 FM. Your man, Ro J. I told you I was going to get my man Kenny Lattimore on the phone. Listen, he has an album dropping at midnight tonight. 11 o'clock our time, so we get out an hour earlier than necessary. But I'm happy to be talking to this man. He's been in the game for well over two decades, man. I didn't even realize you had like a good 10 studio albums under your belt. That's, that's just from me being a solo artist since people have known me you know prior to that it was you know i was in a group called mannequin and that's where i had my first successes as a recording artist and i'm gonna say successes it wasn't a big commercial success but i think that every experience just you know lays a foundation for the next and it just gets better and better you know most definitely now the album is called here to stay and with you being so many albums deep in the game what stories did you want to tell from this chapter of your life you know, the here to stay really, from a lyrical standpoint, I wanted to really talk about where I am today in my relationship. Uh, so my current wife, I, I, I would say, inspired every single lyric from this particular project. The project from a musical standpoint really was inspired by my producer, his name is uh, Drakkar Madison Wesley. Uh, Madison is really his stage name or what have you, but he uh, used this as a way to uh, solidify him as a producer because he had done several songs for me through the years, like Stay On Your Mind and Love Me Back, things like that. But I was okay. like, this brother is worthy of a, a real album like the way that Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis used to do it and Babyface used to do it where they really controlled just about every song. And I, would, I wanted to use this as a mentoring project for the next generation and giving him that and lending my voice because he really in his own right could have done this album, if you will. I'm, and I'm not saying the, the lyrical content necessarily, but done this album and been out there himself. But we are laying the foundation and laying, uh, laying that based on his story as a songwriter and producer so that he's respected as he goes and kind of like the way you know missy elliott you know, right as well used to do so much and then she did her, her own solo album and of course it's you know people pay more attention and you've been releasing singles gearing up for the release of the album and the first song that you had dropped was the one called pressure and i actually premiered it on my music monday spotlight here on the love offering and you've released several songs since then but the song that i took to the most What's the one called Lose You? What's the story behind that one? Lose You was almost like a piece of hip hop poetry <laughs> that we were we were listening to. Drakkar sat down one day and he and um, I had some music from Aaron Lindsay and his daughter uh, Kennedy Lindsay, and it was some, just some, the chords that you hear at the beginning of the the song. And I was like, I love this. It kind of reminded me of Jill Scott or something soulful from Philly. And I was like, well, I come from that because I was with them when they started creating a lot of that sound. Okay. And I was like, so to be authentic for it to be on this album. And we tried to figure out what we do. So Madison started to write this lyric about Lose You. And at first it was just one piece and then it was a poetry. But then I was like, well, why don't we take this and really make it a hook? Why wouldn't I do something to lose you, lose you? And I kept saying that. And then he said, okay, well, then I can do like another verse or I can do something else to it. And we, it just evolved over time. And it was more an experimental song because I had okay. never sung in that manner before or flowed in the manner that the song is right now. Going in, and, and I listen back to it, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but the fact cool. is you sit there and really act like that was a challenge for you because you do realize you almost about can sing anything, right? Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> it. But let me say this, though. I did not recognize that song as a single, and it so far has streamed, of course, like the most out of all of the, the singles that we put out. I thought it was just an experimental song. I wanted it to change at the end, and I wanted the beat to come in, and it'd be more of a live performance kind of vibe, which I'm definitely looking forward to performing live. But uh, it was the CEO of uh, SRG, my partner in music, um, Claude Villani, who said, no, this should be something that we give to the world, that like a commercial single. And I was thinking to myself, no way, that's not a, that's not a radio single. <laughs> that's, that's my experiment. But he was like, no, I think it is. And I was like, well, kudos to him because I probably would not have made that move. But now everybody gets a chance to hear a different side of me 
um, okay. that, I, that they wouldn't have heard if it had been up to me. <laughs> right. So you guys stick around. I'm going to keep my man Kenny on the line. We're going to talk a little bit more about this album dropping here in a couple of hours. All right. Be sure to keep it locked right here. It's your inspiration station. Worship 94.5 FM. More love offerings on the way for you right here. Your inspiration station, Worship 94.5 FM. My man Kenny Lattimore still on the phone with me. Now, we were talking about his song, Lose You, that's available now for stream. It's going to be on the actual album that's dropping tonight. Here to stay. And you was telling me how you didn't even want that as a single. Now, seeing that we know Kenny was singing most of the ballads and what have you, do you like to kind of play it safe or were you willing to take the risk on for trying something different? No, I, I like to take uh, ch- chances with it. Like on the on my last album, Vulnerable even, Vulnerable was different. There's a song on there called Push that was different. I was like, oh, I want to do something 80s. I want to do something. And then if you come to see me live, I sing classical, I sing jazz, I sing all kinds of things that let people know that I love being a student of music and stepping outside of what people expect. Adding Lose You to, to my show gives it, uh, and I'm not saying it's, t- it's not a total hip-hop thing, but it, it, is a, it generates a little more towards um, the relevant sound of today where hip-hop and R&B have met. Right. And at the same time, what I love is that my audience can listen to that and, they ex- and it's authentic still. That's the key to it all, is that it's authentic. I don't ever want it to sound like, oh, Kenny tried to do that. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and he almost did it, you know. I, I want it to be like, oh, you know, I believe him. You know, I believe him in this space. And then when he sings Frank Sinatra and Nat Cole, I believe him in that space. When he sings something that's operatic, I believe him in that space. If he sings For You and The Balance, I believe him. That's my my goal with all of this. Now, don't don't get on me too bad because everybody here knows how much I love a live show, but I haven't seen you live yet, which is crazy now that I think about it. But talking about all of these styles that you have when it comes to your music, how do you employ all of these styles? And I mean, actually, the albums as well in the time frame that you have when you get on the stage. You know what it's about? Um, and I found that um, people really enjoy this. I discounted who I was and what my real story was for many years. It took me going to see like Layla Hathaway. I saw Layla Hathaway build a consistent show for many years until she recorded it and won a Grammy on her show. There's a couple things that happen with us as artists. We get self-indulgent sometimes. We feel, oh, I've done that so many times. Or everybody's heard me sing this. or Everybody's heard that. And they really haven't. You know, it's impossible. (laughs) Just like you haven't seen the show. We don't ever want to take that for granted. So... I started to talk about my background and tell who I am, this is what I came from, and take people on a whole journey of storytelling and music, and that's how it all fits together. And I I learned that from watching Layla, watching Rochelle Farrell, watching uh, the other Luther Vandross, like other artists set up songs, Gladys Knight, oh my gosh, one of the masters of setting up a song. Yeah. And um, and I tried to incorporate the things I had learned into my show and, and then not deviate from it. Just perfect it where I can tell it again in a, in a way that's natural and where people will understand, oh, he's telling his story about when he was a kid. Oh, now he's up. So, so when you come to my show, it's almost like a Vegas show or a Broadway show. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to make this promise to you. I will get to one of your shows. Okay? Please do. Yes, come be my guest. <laughs> I'm going to get to one of your shows. But after all of the successful singles, the R&B albums, the nominations, the awards, all of that you've experienced throughout your career, what do you feel is the next big challenge you set for yourself? Um, to just continue to expand. I want to I expand more into television and film. Make sure that I'm taking myself to the entire entertainment industry as opposed to just music. I love how it all goes hand in hand. I just did a song for a film called Adventures in Christmas that I think VH1 had on last night, Kim Fields. And okay. I, I love writing for film. I love acting, being in the films. I, I love hosting, hosting not only events, but uh, I, I want to host something on television. I think that would be very interesting. So those would be the challenges for me. And with doing those things, I think it makes me better, even on stage. You know, maybe do Broadway at some point. Right. And then it just keeps enhancing me so that I am forever a student and I keep growing. And it doesn't get to the point where it's like, well, I'm Kenny Lattimore. And I don't ever want to be one of those people that think that 
I'm the end all just because I've been just because I'm old, you know. Just because I'm good. <laughs> you know, I've been in the for a long time. No, I'm not right. that guy. Not that guy. Okay. So I, I just want to forever be a student and keep growing and expanding. Kenny, I appreciate you taking the time to stop in and holler at me right here on the Love Offering. Man, I can't wait to check out this album when it drops here in just another hour or two. I'm a sucker for R&B. Everybody around here knows that, so I'm really excited to check this project out. Once again, guys, Here to Stay drops at midnight Eastern time, so that means 11 for us. Kenny, once again, I thank you, man, and I'm going to let you know what I feel about this album, all right? Just continue to soar, my brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys keep it locked right here. I got more love offerings on the way for you right here. Your inspiration station. Worship 94.